right, so I would suggest to do the later show because there's just so much going on for for your dinner. Take the later dinner. It just there's way too many events. You'll miss too many things. Uh, Gaia is going to be performing, but here is our menu, and they apparently just bring out everything. There's holy cow, bento experience. Tip Yip Chicken, Bantha Beef, Spiral Dumplings, Flora Vegetables, Interplanetary Dipping Sauces, Kadu Cream, Melanese Curry, mellowed like that, <laughs> Batu Spice, Barbecue uh, Style, Goju Chong. Oh, dude, this is right up my alley. Flora Noodle Salad, chilled. Uh, then there is the chef's selection of Bantha, Bantha Beef, Stewed Shrimp, Tip Yip Chicken, herb fluffy rice, and a spiced flora, and then for dessert is a fruit and caramel whip with uzu, passion fruit, and jelly. And then for kiddos, they have a much easier, more understandable menu. Salad, uh, spring rolls, tip yip chicken, dumpling, cheese pizza, <laughs> cheese pizza. <laughs> it's the first time I've seen something like directly from Earth, and then buttered noodles. So they, I mean, they have a ton for kids, which is great. And then warm cookies with white milk as well. And then drink wise, they do have a cocktail menu, both alcoholic and non-alcoholic. We saw this earlier in Sublight Lounge, but the Silver Sea Martini, Mark of the Huntress, Nasillion and Bubbles, Dagobah Vimlet, not to be confused with a Gimlet, Mandalore Sling, Pod Chaser. Blue Milk Citrus Fizz, which I actually want to try that, and the Muja Twist sound both delightful. And then they have the same beers that you get at Oga's and then a wine selection as well. Oh, here we go. Our Bento choice. box. <laughs> so we are going to start today with a Flora noodle salad. We have some Andorian dipping sauces. And we also have our spiral dumplings. Now each dumpling is a different flavor. The green being flora, has a little bit of a zing to it. Teriyaki bantha, and <laughs> sweet and sour tip yip. I love it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Certainly. Give me a little tour of your dipping sauces. This is the kaju cream. That's gonna be my favorite. Next to it is the Melanese yogurt curry. In front, it, yeah. the red one is a barbecue style. And the one with the floor on top is going to have some bite to it. That is the Bantu Slice. Okay. So did you find a beverage that looks appealing to you? Uh, can I trouble you for one of these blue milk citrus fizzes, please? Yes, sir. Thank you. And for you, sir. Um, sorry. I think it was... Uh... We're gonna try the first thing, which are the noodles, the flora noodle salad, which is a cold noodle salad. Is there ginger in here? Yellow beets, daikon, onion, carrots, white miso vinaigrette. That's very good. You do get sesame oil in there too, and a really nice miso umami with that, that vinegar tang in there just kind of cuts all those bitter herbs, especially like daikon. That's really good. This is the Bantha teriyaki bun. Oh, that's very good. So that's braised teriyaki Bantha. <laughs> This is the chicken tip yip, I believe. Nope. That's a spicy potato. Ooh, there's a, there's a little bit of heat to it as well. That's fantastic. Potatoes and curry, like that's right up my alley. Love Asian, Indian, Southeast Asian flavors, Korean flavors. Thank you so much. And that is the tip yip chicken. Mm. If I was gonna order them, I think I would go flora vegetable. I like that bite. Then the chicken, and surprisingly, the beef last fall. It has great, great teriyaki flavor. So definitely not dismissing it. And then I gotta try all these sauces and stuff. And we did get, oh, look, my, um, what is this thing called? The blue milk citrus fizz has this little kind of almost like ice cream looking thing on top. 
Oh, it is. It is ice cream because it is. Blue milk sorbet. Lychee lime. It's not cotton candy on top? No, no, it's a blue milk sorbet and lemon lime soda. That's, That's delightful. Delightful. Sure, I'm not gonna. Not candy. I'm not, it's not cotton candy, dude. It's blue milk sorbet. <laughs> just keep cutting your dumplings until oblivion instead of just picking them up and eating them. <laughs> so far, food is spectacular. If you like Asian flavors, then you're gonna love everything that they have so far because it's it's very very more uh, unique spicy flavors like everything that you would get from Docking Bay Seven or Ronto Roaster. Um, just more flavorful in my opinion. Although everything is dyed like David Vaughn had mentioned. He gave me really, really good heads up. So David, thank you so much. Go out, you can check him on TikTok or on YouTube as well. All right, time out, time out. So yes, you're correct. These are Andorian sauces and they tried to eat a human, but they didn't eat Luke, they didn't eat Han, they didn't eat a droid and they didn't eat Leia. So almost ate Chewbacca too. So this is the goju chong one. Let's try that. Little dip action. It's barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's spectacular. I mean, I love um, Korean food. And we have goju chong at our house all the time. That and sriracha are, are two keys in our household. This one is, I believe, the Batu spice. <laughs> Mm -hmm. That's got a lot of mint in it. Tons of mint and cilantro. Very citrusy. Here's the yogurt dip, which is our server's name, uh, Heather. She liked the uh, Cadu cream, I believe. No, that might have been. Yeah, that, I mean, that was sweet and creamy. I'm guessing that's the Cadu cream. And then this would be the Melanese Kirby, curry. So, overall, the food here, I mean, it's ridiculously awesome. Everything, the sauces, Indian Asian, you're good. If any of those things are squeamish to you, you're probably not gonna like a lot of the food here. Because it is it is definitely more adventurous than your typical standard kind of Disney fare, if you will. It's just so cool in here. I can't get over the room. Okay, so uh, that's the captain's table underneath this chandelier, so the captain sits over there. It's very impressive that the captain has to hang out with people for an hour and make small talk. That's Bantha over Crush Moon Rocks, the tip yip, fluffy cloud rice, roasted flora, and then the stewed shrimp. Tasting, that is, it's time, that's what it is. That's what it is. You know, you have to have a good uh, watch if you want to have a good time. All right, this filet is insanely good. That is exceptional. And then this is over crushed moon rocks, which looks a lot like what back home we would call caramelized potatoes or tubers. Hmm. Yep. 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 Hmm. That is very, very good. One thing that's kind of hard to, to describe when you're here on the Halcyon is just the little elements of characters walking around doing tasks, right? It's not like they're on stage performing like you would see in a typical Disney park. You know, they're setting up, uh, whether it was instruments and doing a mic check, like just normal things that you would see on a show behind the scenes if they didn't keep it behind a curtain like they do with most Disney things. So. You know, cruise directors over here hanging. It's just, it's cool seeing all of the different characters experiencing things and being out and about. Huh? Woo! I'd know that even if I didn't know what time it is. We had a, a great time with the early eaters, but there's just something about being a little later in the evening, isn't it? A certain energy. You ever feel that? Uh huh. <laughs> if you don't already, I guarantee that you will. Listen, I, uh, as you can probably tell, am not your cruise director, Len Kamak. But she is. Uh, <laughs> I would love to 
love you so much. Come on, give her a round of applause. <laughs> Wonderful job for this cruise. Is unbelievable. Feel free to say a few words. Hello everyone, good evening. It's good to see you all. I hope that you're enjoying your first night here on board the Halcyon. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, we're early in our journey. We still have so much more to come. But for now, get ready for a spectacular show with our amazing okay. star. Thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Um, before I was so pleasantly interrupted, my name is Wraith Cole, and I do see some familiar faces out there. Those of you, hello, whom I have not met, uh, let's let's fix that soon. It's always nice to meet new allies. Well, I should also point out here that mm. Wraith isn't technically a member of the Halcyon crew, despite him apparently thinking he is. <laughs> no. no, I have a wonderful job as Kaya's manager, actually. And, and, but, but the crew is... Phenomenal. Here, let's have a round of applause for the staff and the crew of the house here. Yeah. Woo! Top notch. I'll tell you what. Um, no, as as Gaia's manager, I have the privilege of introducing her, as well as her incredible accompanist, a remarkable musician. And wait until you hear what she can do with this thing. Please welcome Wadi. Wadi. so much this afternoon in the atrium. Great. I'm gonna give you my, the mic in one second. I just wanted to invite each of you, um, and hopefully especially you, to my toast this evening in the atrium. It will be at 9.45. It's a way to gather and to celebrate your adventures. I, for one, never miss an opportunity to have a cocktail, so I will, I will certainly be there. Um, but the reason I am here right now is to introduce to you somebody who is truly, in every sense of the word, a galactic superstar. A singer, songwriter, not only writes music, she writes it from her very soul. No matter how many times I stand on the stage that she's about to electrify. I can't help but feel like it's the very first time. She has filled concert halls, she's filled stadiums, Believe me, tonight she is going to fill this room. Travelers, friends, Gaia. Enjoying the show so far? Yeah. 
sparkling, but enough about you. What is my name? Yes. One more time for Alex. What is my name? Space sauce. Now, I am from a planet called Rybox. As you may have noticed, I am <laughs> Everyone, <laughs> I have a question for you. What brings you here? You might not be here. Action. Cilantro rice is fine. The tubers are fine. The stews. The stews pretty good. It's uh, very lemongrassy, but the steak is the star of the show of this whole entire dinner section uh, for the second course. But I actually like the dumplings better than this course. I thought you were with Sam. Not technically. I got that. No, I, I mean... Data pad info. Oop. Digging down. Go ahead. Yeah, you can take all of it. Thank you. Long buried feelings that you would rather have seen away. But sometimes, I've learned in my life, that sometimes it's just 
better to let yeah, did you those get a feelings out. Like, did it ring or hey! or anything or no? Could you show some respect for funny? Oh, that's not a smart move. The vagabond. I suggest that you show some respect. Because I am not playing. Oh, I think those are kind of that suit now. Pardon the unfortunate interruption. On with the show. Thank you, Senator. Halt! Please. What is your equivalent of royalty? A general, perhaps? Below the Supreme Leader, yes. And how? Out of reach. Would that rank be, for say, a lieutenant? A bit more present than the office. Good for you. I myself have risen among the ranks. And what ranks would those The invisible. You see, I've become my own version of royalty. You might say that I'm the rock star queen. Woo! Now, when this dance first burst onto the scene, when the song, rather, first burst onto the scene, a dance was born, a gift from the goddess It's easy to learn, it's fun to do, and we are going to do it tonight. A lieutenant. You sat out in the first show, but tonight there will be no exemptions. Gaia has spoken, now stand at attention. Ooh. Everyone? You know, I, I've got this session. Uh, you look like a dance just waiting to happen. <laughs> Sandra, where are you? You know this dance. Show them how it's done. Everyone, stand up! Stand up. Tonight, we celebrate the rock star queen. Oh, oh. oh. oh this is our, uh, we missed our dance lesson moment. Pretty good, Lieutenant. Pretty good. Not gonna lie. <laughs>
round of applause for yourselves. Armored companions have been looking for the resistance operative, Chewbacca. You will be pleased to know that our ship's mechanic, Sammy, has brought him here too. What? What? Sammy! I think you will agree this is above and beyond anything he could have been expected to carry out as part of his onboard duties. Captain, I... Samuel, I, I, it seems I have misjudged and I will be the first to admit when I have made a mistake, so please, accept my apology. For this is above and beyond the service to the First Order. Uh, I will get my soul troopers to Oh, no, Lieutenant, please. You are still on your working vacation. You are a valued passenger. Sammy and myself will make sure that you get your troopers to arrest the Wookiee. Please, stay right where you are and enjoy the show. Thank you so much. You are most welcome. Chewie, get him. Get him, Chew. Get him. Ooh, got that Wookiee stare down. <laughs> <laughs> Sam well, is a backstabber. What a night. <laughs> Revelation, <laughs> jubilation, and celebration, Brave. Do I normally do encores? You do not. Encore! Uh, well, then you did in the last show. I have <laughs> You know how I set it up and you're supposed to knock it? It's fine. I messed it up. But. We wrote this bit that just. But. Messed it up. The lieutenant here sat in his seat during the first show. I believe that his courage, this last Brown Star Queen, has not only made up for his lack of technique, but has earned you all an encore as well. Everyone say thank you, lieutenant. Thank you, lieutenant. Lieutenant, do you know what song is next? I am sure I do not. I'm sure Sandra does. Ulashuka! Yeah. Dude, this is an ogre's. You know very well, sir, that Ulashuka is not preferred by the first order. I do. <laughs> but surely you have something that doesn't have as much uh, questionable lyrics. Cantina.
this is our, not to be confused with yogurt, it's a yogin dessert. <laughs> <laughs> like whip. I don't I don't really know. There's so much stuff happening on this plate. Very again, very colorful. Great presentation. So so far, this the milk chocolate one I like, but this deep deep raspberry with like a lemon curd inside is really really good. Got a unique texture. I think this has the, the uh, yuzu or uzu fruit, which is very, very tart. Oh, there's like these little gelatin ball things. <laughs> what is that? Oh, it feels like an eyeball. <laughs> Lemon curd, probably. And what is this hard green random? It's like a pistachio crumble almost. Matcha. Or matcha, could be. What's a matcha with you? I honestly, I've, I've only had matcha tea like once, so I can't even really describe. And I felt like it was more aligned with bitterness than, and green tea than anything else, and I, I don't think that's necessarily accurate. We have the, we have to get upstairs for the toast at 9.45, so I think this is kind of wrapping up now, and 9.45 is the next big sequencing, so we're gonna wanna head upstairs. Overall, this meal was fantastic. If you like any kind of Indian, Asian cuisine, spectacular. The desserts uh, were probably my least favorite, and the appetizers were my favorite. Um, the mains were good, especially that steak, but I don't eat a ton of red meats. That's just a personal preference, but the steak was fantastic. Absolutely, if you're a red meat fan, incredible steak. All right, we gotta go upstairs for a toast. I love how we're all like passing notes to each other. This is really cool. I love this. Yeah. What's this one now? Well, you said ours ours combined yours were is, good. Well, yours is different than the one I found over there. Oh, interesting. Oh, interesting. Interesting. So which one and then matches? I have, so I have, it's, this is the right one, because it's need your help to take. Need um, your help to take Coaxium tomorrow. I yeah. know of Notorious Wookiee on board, but the captain offered dot, dot, dot. No. Cliffhanger. Yeah, let me take one more picture. Oh, yeah, no worries. Go ahead. They're, but they're different.